Thank <laughs> you. 
must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. I never went to the surface, only the sky above it. The world is taboo to Mandalorians. We only came here when the Republic fleet gathered and we knew it was our only chance to stop them. I can't say I'm happy to be back here, but I believe we can do what must be done.
At last you have arrived. Is Malakor as you remember? Indeed. Perhaps it is merely your perceptions of me that have changed. It is strange that you believe Malakor has not. But it has always been timeless to you, this place, and words have always been inadequate for the horrors that took place here. More talk of machines and threats. If you would end Malakor, then do it. But it will not be a victory for you. You may hold Malakor in your grasp, but I hold the answers to your past and future in mine. Would you destroy us both before learning them? If so, then do it, for you have already failed me. Perhaps you were expecting some surprise for me to reveal a secret that had eluded you, something that would change your perspective of events, shatter you to your core. There is no great revelation, no great secret. There is only you. No, there were not. In times past and in times future, there are Jedi who will stop listening to the Force, those that will try to forget it but maintain unconscious ties. And those, as in the past, just as I, who have had the Force stripped from them. But no Jedi ever made the choice you did, to sever ties so completely, so utterly, that it leaves a wound in the Force. It was a mistake to try to make you feel it again, I see that now. There is no truth in the Force. But there is truth in you, Exile, and that is why I chose you. I never destroyed Atris. She had destroyed herself. I merely stripped away the illusion and brought her truth. Her teachings could not be allowed to continue, and like Malachor, she was part of your past, unresolved. She needed to be something you could confront and defeat one last time. It was part of your training, part of what was needed to make you complete. And there must always be a Darth Treyer. The galaxy needs its betrayers, especially in the times to come. She loved you, you know, as one loves a champion. You were all that she could not be. Yes, it is all that is left unsaid upon which tragedies are built. More echoes traveling through the Force. The Apprentice must kill the Master. If you do not, I will kill you. If I do not, then all you have achieved will be as nothing, as empty and as violent as Malakor itself. me down, and at last, end this. Good. But you have yet to learn the full extent of power.
By killing me here, you have rewarded me more than you can possibly know. It is your choice. I had hoped you would follow Revan's path, but you and Revan are different and your path is your own. You may take one of the ships that orbit Malachor and depart this place, or you may remain here on Malachor and wait for the others, those touched by the Force who will come in time. Or you may return to your exile, where your presence will no longer affect the actions of others. There is no dishonor in any of these choices. I only ask that you make the choice without regret. Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. The Republic will fall as it always has, a fall that will take millennia. Telos shall recover. And Zerka shall make it a place for machines and sciences. It will run smooth and cold, like a machine. But it shall not forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to it. It shall learn to defend itself against war, and it shall never again be caught defenseless. Dantooine shall lie in ruins, as was intended when Malak's fleet brought death to the planet. Its surface will become home to nomads and primitives who will walk upon the ruins of the Jedi Enclave and not know upon the histories they tread. Nar Shaddaa shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before, where once the lost and disposed were trapped there. Now they will struggle and grow. From despair shall come hope. Vaklu shall have a short reign, but Onderon's independence shall persist. As he fought the Mandalorians, his triumph over the Republic shall serve to preserve Onderon against the rest of the galaxy, and Onderon shall maintain its customs, its law, its history, its identity. And most of all, its victory shall give Onderon strength, so that the horrors of the Sith War and the Mandalorian Wars will not soon come to its surface again. Korriban shall be as it always was, a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia. 
It, like Malakor, brushes the edges of the empire that waits in the dark. And like Malakor, the Sith have forgotten it for a time. They will remember. Revan knew this. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know, the true Jedi upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. I would have killed the galaxy to preserve you. I would have let the galaxy die. You are more rare than you know, and what you have taught yourself must not be allowed to die. You are not Sith, not truly, and it is for that that I love you. Their paths are unknown to me, even the small one who waits for you outside this place. I sense it has one last journey for you. You must go where Revan did, into the unknown regions, where the Sith, the true Sith, wait in the dark for the great war that comes. It is because he remembered what lay buried here, this place, its teachings. It paved the way to Korriban, you know, the remnants here. And because Malakor, like Korriban, is on the fringes of the ancient Sith Empire, where the Sith wait for us in the dark. Have we? You thought that the corrupted remnants of the Republic, the machines spawned by technology that Revan led into battle, were the Sith? You are wrong. The Sith is a belief, and its empire, the true Sith Empire, rules elsewhere. And Revan knew that the true war is not against the Republic. It waits for us beyond the Outer Rim, and he has gone to fight it in his own way. And he left the Ebon Hawk and all its machines behind, for he knew he would not need them. And like you, he knew he must leave all loves behind as well, no matter how deeply one cares for them. You're alive. Did I save you yet? Your eyes. That bad, huh? Always was ugly. Now the outside matches. Was waiting for this, but it's not fair. Let you down. Was supposed to save you. It's tired of living anyway. Too many deaths. Never told you. Lied to you. I don't want you to see me like this. I don't want to die in front of you. Can't bear it. Loved you from the moment I first saw you. Thought you were a dream. Meant every word. Tried to play it off as a joke. Wasn't funny. <laughs> Hurts when I laugh. Hurts. <laughs> 